Gelatinous by Jason Pickering. There's a very simple plain name, which is very easy in English. And it's just, you never expect that when it happens. And it does. I mean, even my name is not, it's, it's not a name that you would know by, um, you wouldn't know how to say, you know what, just never mind. Hey guys, Game Hunter here. And we're looking at another game from the 7 Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. Uh, this is this is gelatinous, so let's, let's see what we're even doing here. So we got arrow keys, space to wait, so it's just a move and wait game. Get all the heroes, priests revive the fallen, and mages shoot fireballs. Okay. Okay. How do I... Uh, maybe the gel keeps them away? Oh, I got fireballed. That's no fun. Great. Okay, so they can get stuck in my goo, but I guess eventually. Uh oh. Well, it looks like I at least got to eat him. Um, and yeah, getting stuck's nice, because that barely keeps me alive, but I just died, so. Yes, indeed, horrific dude. Uh, Huh, and these are all warriors. Okay, well this is a very simple map then. And looks like it's just kind of arcade style. So that's that's the whole game. Wow, we can just end it right here. This, this has been Game Hunter Play. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little more. Because this seems like a very interesting game and I'm wondering how well balanced it is. Um I guess I'll start by going this way and just try to line everybody up. Oh everybody's gotta move kind of. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I'm just trying to out-corner pace them, sort of. Let's see if... Ah, uh, none of them were smart enough to do that. Will they... Ah, uh, they're going to move to the left. Of course. So they, they follow the outermost path. All right. Hmm. Well, I got to steal you. And, um... Oi. Well, that's not looking too good, but at least I'll get to kill you. And I can wait until you show up and score. Bada bing, bada boom, and you only get a little bit back. So yeah, this is, well, I don't know if it's horribly challenging, but it's definitely tough. Definitely on the tough side. Because you never really know um, how they're going to try to do stuff. Ha ha! Okay, this time I've chased these guys to the ends of the oith until they get stuck. And <laughs> I've just... They've eaten them all. Eated them all! Oh, they're actually gonna. Well, he didn't, but. Oh well. Oh well, he well. Uh, one more. Oh man, I was hoping for a slightly different outcome. If I don't. Yeah, if I don't move, it's still what it is. So you get stuck kind of either way. Um, ah, neither of them moved the way I wanted them to. So we might as well do something. Oh, this wasted time. In fact, I just died as a result. But my best is 16. That's not half bad. Um, so I guess what to say about it. Um, it's very simple. I get to say um a few times. and <laughs> well, it's, it's a very simple game. Since you have only movement that you're working with. And at the same time, um, you have various challengers that you have to kind of deal with. Uh, and these challengers provide interesting gameplay, really. Uh, is it ran? Yeah, it's pretty random. Go figure. Go figure. All right, and you got stucked. And I assume the rest of them are kind of going to get stucked. So we're just going to go with that. All right, cool. That, that actually worked out pretty well. So you do have to worry about them. And... You know, more or less, I'd say this game is really about finding optimal paths to, to either stick the opponent or otherwise, um, you know, make them less doable in their various movements. But, I mean, also, they don't, they're not able to see very far, I'll tell you that much. Not in the slightest. Okay, so we got 100,000 of these guys kind of making their way over. Which way are they gonna go? Okay, I guess I'll just get the ones. I can only kill. I can only squish one at a time, huh? All right. Well, that's that's the game. Very cool. 
A lot of wizards this time around. Oh my goodness. A lot of wizards. That's going to be a problem, I think. Ah, oh, man, really? Of course. Okay, but at least I got to squish them all. I love squishing my wizards, my uh, pugnacious looking wizard friends. Oh, and it was a priest that I swallowed the priest back from, so that was cool. We gotta re gel that spot just in case. I wasn't entirely sure. How far can this guy hit? And please go down. Yeah, he went down. You never know, because it does look like it's fairly random when it happens. So that's one thing to be aware of. When when stuff's when stuff's going down. When the stuffs are going down. Let's just try to get everybody caught. Okay, that's enough cots. Ah, but except it doesn't catch them. That's the weird part. It does not catch them in the slightest. It only catches them if they're less than zero. I don't know exactly the words that I'm looking for. But nevertheless, I, maybe it's that corpses can't have the same spot. I just killed the only priest on the map. But there's a lot to do. Um, and it's, it's a simple game. It's pretty simple anyway. Um, but the main strategy, of course, is to just make your way and getting through the enemies and just trying to eat them up before they before they disappear. The one thing that I guess I would criticize, well, I mean, if it's a criticism, it's really more a design flaw um, inherent in just the game's engine, however that works, is that all the enemies kind of have to move oh, right, um, at the same they all have to go at different spots and I realize that it actually kind of helps in seeing where they end up going uh, but it is not conducive to fast paced which would be nice if I could just have everybody move nice and simultaneous and that was just the way things were uh, unfortunately that is not the way things are so we do have to kind of work things out in a slightly different manner So, okay good oh man well, at least these guys are. I get to steal one of them, and then I get to steal the other one. Ah, and if only he had gone right, then that would have been an easier squish. But I guess this will have to do instead. Uh, yeah, okay. And we'll just steal you guys. Ah, the fireball! It hurts. It burns. It burns so much. And there we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. How I play my Dumbledore. Um, it's a video game. He's a strong wizard, dies a lot, stuff like that. Man, there's a lot of enemies at this point. Um, but this is, I mean, this is clearly what the game is, and it's really just, yeah, it's it's about pathing. It's a game about pathing. Crazy, I know. Um, whoa, that was a lot of dudes, and yeah, you can't only squish one a turn, which isn't the worst thing in the world but it could be slightly easier well not easier um, something I, I'd I mean it, it almost helps I don't really know if it if it matters entirely but sometimes it works out and sometimes you just uh, gotta go with the flow dag flow okay there we go stealing those guys and we got another one because they always go in the same path unless they become afraid and that's one thing you can almost rely on. Uh, so yeah, you can scare them to where they need to go. And then that's that's good to go, pretty much. Man, there's a lot of guys this time. Sure are. Now we get to steal that guy. And you, you can kind of stick into certain areas, huh? Because we're gelatinous cube. Um, and not really have to be crazy be biscuits all over everything else. Oh, that was not a good time for anybody, including, but not limited to, myself. Being the gelatinous cube. More like in a gelatinous rube, am I right? Yeah, that was, that was a hilarious joke there, GH. Um, but nevertheless, I think this is quite a fun little romp of a game, and you can have plenty of time wasted playing it and just trying to figure things out as you go. Uh, which there isn't, admittedly, there isn't a lot to figure out as you go, but it is a game that is figure outable. And you just, man, there's a lot of guys now at this point. And we'll just, uh, uh, I think I'll wait. Uh, yeah, one more. 
because then they'll have to move. Well, I guess they don't have to move. Oh, they, they don't have to move. And when they don't move, you just sit on the score and, and get a new frisky character plate palette. Um, man, I don't even need all these kills. I mean, it's almost a waste. But I seem to have gotten a nice supply. As soon as the game becomes less sparse, that's when you're really able to to stay alive as much as possible. So that might be a consideration for the balance, the sake of the balance of the game, is to make it such that later on you're not just getting these constant supplies. Uh, if you know what, even if you know what you're doing, you should always be in a sort of uh, worried state as to whether or not you will survive to the next bit and piece. All right, everybody went in the right direction. Thank goodness. Ah, oh, and you backed out. Well, this guy will go in the wrong direction, then I'll steal him. Good. Oh, great, he saw me. Um, that was not a good choice at all. So, okay, whatever. We still got this down. We still got this down. I think I'm going to stop, though, because I, I don't know when I'm going to die or not, although I could easily just kill myself right now, couldn't I? That might be where I'm going with this. Um, but anyway, yes, this has been Game Hunter playing... Um, yeah, I just died. <laughs> that was stupid of me, by the way. I wasn't really even thinking at that point. This has been Game Hunter playing Gelatinous. Join me next time when we take a look at another game from the 70 Roguelike Challenge of 2013. Until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.